<laughs> no. No, stop. Stop. Now, myself, I love a good meme as much as the next guy. But when it comes to Half-Life 3, there is so much information on a game that it, it's it's semi-existent right now, but it's so far away from getting published, if it's going to get published at all, that it's almost not even worth talking about. Now myself, I haven't been into a Half-Life game probably since 2011, and I know that might be sacrilegious to a lot of people out there, but listen, listen, listen. If you're a person that goes out and plays Half-Life 1 and 2 over and over and over again, and you're waiting for Half-Life 3, you're gonna burn it out. If you if you want Half-Life 3 experience to be as good as it can possibly be, stop playing the game. I made that decision in 2011, so you can replay them when it's going to come out. But here's the reason why I believe it's never going to come out, and also the fact why you're the reason why it's not gonna come out. And maybe even the reason why I then the reason why it's not going to come out. Now, hear, hear me out here. The reason why the community is the reason why Half-Life 3 is not going to come out is the following. People are jerks. Everybody on planet Earth, when it comes to gaming, know people get so butthurt about so many different things within gaming that Valve almost has decided so far that they're just going to can the entire idea. And I've said this before in multiple videos of mine here. Gaming is a business. People make money off of video games. Valve owns Steam. Steam makes a lot of money. Half-Life 1 and 2 still make a lot of money. So let's think about it like this, okay? Say Half-Life 3 gets announced, okay? Half-Life 3 is announced. Great stuff. Everybody's happy. Everybody's great. Everybody's doing their research. Everybody's playing Half-Life 1 and 2 again. All of the episodes, everything, everything's good. Everything's good, right? And the game comes out. There will be so many people for so many stupid reasons claiming this, this this turtle followed me for too long one star or this I couldn't find enough Easter eggs so so one star and then people send death threats to Valve and it hurts Steam and it hurts the company because Half-Life 3 is one of the most anticipated games of all time and it's not even gonna come out it's there's a very very small number of people that are in development with this game right now and the story is written for the game. Um, the entire layout is set. Everything is ready to go, but Valve doesn't need to push the game out because they own Steam. They own Portal 1 and 2. I just like, if you think about all of these different things that Valve owns and the amount of money that Valve is pulling in, the backlash from the community would not benefit them enough to release Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3 would probably be one of the best-selling games of all time if it came out. We all know that, but because a game would come out so hyped, there will be so many people out there that will just ruin the reputation of Half-Life, ruin the reputation of Valve, and make the entire situation not good. Because think to yourself, if, if Half-Life 3 wasn't the best game you've ever played, if it was mediocre by one degree you you know how many people out there would just rip into valve and valve knows this they're a company dedicated to gaming they know the community they know what's going to happen with the games that they release so the reason why half-life 3 is not going to come out is because of us because of the community because of you because you would have sent a death threat to the developers i mean look sean murray got death threats for an indie game that he made saying that he was going to delay it for a couple weeks he got death threats. Imagine if Half-Life 3 ended up being a bad game. There would be literally people throwing rocks and, and riding in the streets, slitting their wrists, calling their grandmas, telling them that they, they no longer want to live anymore because Half-Life 3 was a trashy game. You know that that would happen, right? So, because of the popularity, because of the backlash that they would get, because Half-Life 3 needs to be perfect, Valve doesn't want to take on that challenge, and they don't have to. Valve is so loaded with money, they could literally just pay off their employees, basically, and just completely leave. But, of course, they're not going to do that. But you guys understand where I'm coming from with this, so... I would really love to know your guys' opinions on this. Are you somebody that actually sits down and waits for Half-Life? Like I said before, I haven't played Half-Life in... years. And I might be thinking about getting back into it, because it's not gonna have a third game. We just understand that, so... Let me know if you guys think that the game is actually going to be developed and published. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this. Leave a like, leave a subscription, it really does help me out. I will see you guys later.